So, I've been watching videos about automation of certain jobs. You know, me being a teacher, I was just recently watching a video that was discussing about robots, AI, you know, certain companies trying to automate the jobs of teachers and teachers being one of those professions that's immune to automation. And in this case, nothing is immune to automation in this day and time. Every Everything can get it, everything, all these jobs, anything and everything can get it when it comes to replacement of humans and by technology. Anything to convince us that it will make our lives easier, whatever the case may be, it's, it's, it can replace us, okay? We're, we're buying into the narrative that, oh, technology makes our lives easier when the true intent is that I honestly believe it's gonna come down to a point because when you actually think about it, it's like, it's gonna come to a point if everything's automated, and we, we don't, you know, if a technology can do all these things for us, then why do we really need humans? Why, why are we even needed? You know, we're going to come to a point to where, you know, this technology isn't taking care of us, but it, it truly is replacing us. And the decisions going to have to be made. We either merge with it or just be eliminated. Those are the only two E's. Those are the only two choice E's that you have. A merge or become eliminated. Uh, Michio Otaku in a 2010 video um, on the sci-fi channel got everybody excited about merging with the machines and this is very much so biblically this is very market of beastish luciferian in nature how is this luciferian or or market of beastish in nature what am I even talking about when I say that if you think about in the book of revelations you know you can't buy sell a trader unless you actually get the mark and people will have to actually make that choice you can't do anything and if you know did that that's the parallel where we're, we're constantly moving into this this age where technology is becoming so dominant the old, the old engineer mind is leading this way that that's the only choice that we're going to have it's like why do we even so you it's the same thing you can't buy sell a trade unless you have this mark whatever the mark is a lot of people have speculated mainly popularized by the left behind series which i wasn't really too fond of especially after all the research that i've done now with you know beast technology and or so-called beast technology but really with genetic implants the, the changes of genetics you know, us actually possibly taking the DNA of Lucifer himself when he's here as the Antichrist and all these other things like the market of beast now could be anything and microchip technology is so passe, it's so old school, you know, so why would it even be that, you know, especially you think about the superhero movies that's, that you see out now, if taking on and, and infusing ourselves, merging with something, that should actually be more of the thing. We're going to merge with something. And right now, can you think about something like, let's look at it on Sega Genesis, Mutant League Football. You had all those sorts of races, superhumans, aliens, I mean, the, the lizard people, the, the bones, um, the, the dead people, the ogres, all that, you know. But there wasn't not nary a single human. Why do I even use a Sega Genesis game to even elaborate on my point? The point is this, is that the humans just weren't in existence you know there was something there was a species that was considered better a race that was better that's not limited by you know so-called flesh or whatnot you know and uh if christ had not come back then there would be no flesh left alive and that's you have to think about that last point no flesh left alive merging with machines why are we even needed if, if we're replacing everything with us to make our lives easier well sooner or later well why why play sports when a machine or ai could do it better than us then why am i here why why am i here am i here to just spectate and just watch a machine do something that i've been blessed to actually do this whole entire time you know it's it's crazy it's crazy but these are just some things i thought i'll speak about quickly um yeah, it's just, it's crazy. Just, you have to watch technology and I think some key things that you need to look out for is automation, artificial intelligence. Those are the key A words you need to look out for, okay? All right, automation, artificial intelligence. 
and you need to be very concerned. Well, at least let me not say concerned. I'm not trying to end this video in fear. You can put your hope in Jesus Christ, okay? That's what I have my hope in. I've walked this walk for, it's 2019, since 2010, for about nine years. And I've seen the Lord do some miraculous things on a small and large scale. A lot of people have to always wait until they're in some sort of like tragedy to look for God. I'm so grateful it did not take me to that point to understand that I was in need of a savior, that I was, I was flawed, I was sinning my butt off, okay, trying to get with every woman that I could under the sun, and I just, it left me, you know, it, it left me in a very bad spot. That story is going to be coming soon, but I've, so I walked this walk, I've applied biblical things into my life, and I've seen things happen that I'm not going to go into detail right now in this video because I want to keep it short. So, I'm speaking from experience, the Bible is real, the Lord is real. Things that are here on earth is evidence of the true and living God. All these things that you see on here, on earth, creation, it's all evidence of the one true living God. Marriage, relationships, they're all evidence. God wants to have fellowship with you through his son, Jesus Christ. And that is the key thing that I'm trying to state right now. But I don't want to end this video, like I said, in fear. That is the hope that I have. And that's what I don't have a heart attack or I can still sleep well at night, even despite all this stuff going on. That is it for this video. Is God for or against me? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. God bless you guys.